Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Beast Wars Black Rachnia. Yeah, this is I believe the original, as far as I know. So this is, came back way back when in 1995. So yeah, as far as I know, this is the first one. So yeah, it's just post G2. Let's look at the box. I like the little stone burst, don't know why it's there. There's Black Rachnia, not looking very effeminate at all, but hey, that was... Aside from RC, that's a, well, I think that was a Decepticon's first female. Uh, yeah, she is not looking very effeminate at all. But, what can I tell? This is back in the day, there's Optimus Primal. Man, he's looking good. I never liked that T-Rex uh, for Megatron. But, Beast War was kind of cool. Cheetor and some other people there, Silver Bolt, who knows. Optimus Primal's looking good, I must say. I've been enough about that. You get two, whatever, maximal. I don't know. I don't watch Beast Wars. Sorry. Yeah, she has this little hook and you know, it's Black Widow stripes. And I'll show you here in the back. Uh, so you can kind of check that out. Yeah. That's a wave. This is back in the day when they actually made one for one. The package does come with a nice little spec sheet so you can kind of tell. There's her specs. Yeah, I forgot what it was. Destron card, but I forgot what they're called. I should have researched that. Also come with this neat Beast Wars thing, so you can kind of see the Maximals versus... The, well, they call them Cybertron versus Destron. That was always how Japan used to see it. That's why you say C versus D. There's that same iconic scene. Optimus Primal. Megatron. Silver bolt, yeah, so yeah, you got you get to see a lot of things here. So just a cheat tour waspinator again one for one. That's when they did one one Decepticon for one Autobot rather than the three to one that you get today. Three in the favor of the Autobots, so it was goody goodies. And you had these freaking cool looking I for, I have those. I forgot what they're called. The combiners. So yeah, that's pretty neat. So if you wanted to watch the show, so be it, Destron, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, it's kind of neat. That was back in the first series, I think the really only series that was CGI. I thought it was the coolest back in 95, 96. Let's see if we can zoom in on Black Rachnia here. Yeah, uh, there she is. Also comes with a warranty card and instructions. If you need the instructions, so be it. Oh, enough about that. That was a rather lengthy intro just for the box because it's so freaking cool. There she is. I mean, the spider mode looks good. I like the paint apps, the low humongous amount of eyes, the the arms that don't really tab in too well, but here, got these little pincer arms. I don't know. She's not a crab or anything like that. Probably for holding her prey. Now, note that the first two legs of each side are ball jointed, but that's the only ones that you're going to have some kind of articulation you got the classic black widow hourglass shape over here and in addition the thing does shoot so if you press this thing it'll it'll fire out so it's kind of neat in that respect yeah so yeah uh from underneath you can hide the robot extras okay legs you can see is kind of just go ahead flopping on the out there just because they are so hey what can i say uh, it's looking good i mean Beast Wars was all about the alt mode. It looks really good. I'll give the alt mode 8 out of 10 because it got all the markings. I like the little translucent plastic on the back here. Not bad looking. It was always about the beast mode. Okay, let's go ahead and transform this. First, we're going to pop these legs out. Yeah. Yeah. So, we got the legs out just like that. Ball jointed legs. Split that. Yeah, just... Sorry. Let's put the split that. Yeah, split the bottom over here if you didn't see that. No problem. Alright, what else we got? Split open the arms. You can see the robot head. Not very effeminate. Flip that sucker down and you're almost transformed. Move that out. Move the other arms out. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean... Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, I keep shooting that. This thing in the back over here just pops off. And it becomes, if you want... There's a peg on either arm, and you can just peg that right here. Yeah, and the weapon just goes in here, and again, it, it fires. 
<laughs> yeah. Neat little weapon. So there she is. Looking okay, I guess, in beast mode. Ball jointed head. Double jointed, actually. You got a neck crane right there and a ball jointed head. No light piping. Ball jointed shoulder. Ball jointed elbow. No wrist articulation. Her hands are molded and I wish they had more on the hands. That'd be kind of neat. So it's not bad. No waist, waist articulation, but you see the torso or the head of the beast or the spider. Ball jointed hip. Single jointed knee. Ball joint. No, I can swivel on the ankle pivot. It has a heel spur and a an ankle. So you can have pretty good articulation. This is a deluxe size figure. So, oops, gosh, you can do the splits. They want that. There we go. Yeah, only thing I don't like about her is her, her stance is kind of weird. But here she is compared to modern day black racking. I'm just going to move her back here because, you know, it doesn't black racking, the modern black racking doesn't stand too well. But just put that, there we go. So you can have a side by side comparison there. So you can see deluxe class. There we go. Not too bad. So you can see a comparison. One absolutely less effeminate than the other. So it's archaic, but you know the figure isn't that bad. It does already. I mean, if it was a male character, I probably wouldn't have any issues with it. I'll give it a seven out of ten, nonetheless. I sure could use get rid of those freaking arms or the, sorry the legs a little better but other than that it's not that bad all right youtubers that's all i got and i'll catch y'all next time